Today I've got a bit of an adventure for myself, and it's certainly something I haven't done before, and that's thanks to Mother Nature. What I have here between you and I is a pretty decent sized ash tree for this region, but it was killed by the emerald ash borer, and it's been standing dead over there for a couple seasons now, and uh, it got me thinking. I'm about 70 feet away from my sawmill. It would be foolish for me to not see if I could salvage some lumber out of it. And the best chunk here is right between you and I. You can see right about here, it hooks that way. Up there, it forks off that way. So I think what I need to do is cut that top off and that'll let me get my truck through because right now it's blocking the trail. That's the only piece of equipment I have here today is the old Ford Ranger. <laughs> and that's what's gonna pull this out of the creek for me. Well, I gotta be honest with you, that went a lot better 
than I thought it was gonna. First try too, that doesn't happen for me very often. So uh, now that I have it up here and I'm kind of looking at it, maybe it's not quite as straight as I thought it was from a distance. I think my best section is gonna be from right here. You can see just below this crotch, I think would be a great place to make a cut. Maybe right here is where the flare stops. And then if I come down to this end, you can see there's a sweep in it right here. When I was looking at it from the top side, or my perspective, it looks straight as an arrow. But if you get down and look from your perspective, you can see that it goes up in both directions right here, right where it's sitting on the ground. So I might come through and make a cut right here, just in front of that sweep, and then just in front of that crotch. And that'll leave me with a pretty sizable log, really. Um, right here at the bend is an eight foot log. So, I mean, I think I'll cut it right there. I could really use a tractor, let me tell you. Huh. But that's all right. I got the log up here and that's all that matters. Now we can start having some fun. Well, I've decided that I'm gonna cut it in this orientation right here. I made that choice because I see now that the pith is way off center towards me, which means this side is under tension and this side is not, I believe. And that's because it was growing out of a creek side on an angle and then reached up straight. And this is just above where that sweep happened. And I watched a video recently. I'm not sure if I'm remembering it right. I wasn't prepared for this, but if I can trust my untrustworthy memory, uh, the guy said that if you were to just cut boards off this side that's under tension, it'll release that in a way where they peel away from the cant and it'll warp along the face, making a bow 
or a sweep. Whereas if I cut it in this orientation, I believe this balances the tension. And if it does warp, it's gonna warp along the edge, making a crown. And to get that out, all you have to do is put the track saw on it and cut a nice straight edge. So I'm hoping that I'm remembering that right. And I'm gonna cut it like this to hopefully balance that tension, just like it was growing on the hillside. Let's fire the old girl up and see what the inside of this log looks like. There it is, my beautiful four and a half inch slab. I decided four and a half because I'm just nervous that this thing's gonna move around and I would like to have a four inch uh, mantle when this thing's all dried and flattened. And it ended up being, down here on this end, 11 and a half inches. And I must say I'm pleased with that. It's the only ash log I've ever cut, so I don't really know what a beautiful ash log looks like, but. I mean, I'm having a hard time finding much for defects in this. There's a couple small knots. There's one bug hole that goes through. And myself, I'm thrilled to have it. And I think it was a good choice to go out into the forest and rescue it. And now all that's left to do is pick this thing up and get it in the back of the ranger. Yeah. Whoo. Everybody wants to run a sawmill. Nobody wants to lift these heavy ass boards. Did I mention I need a tractor? You know, I gotta say, this whole adventure went a lot better than I thought it was gonna when I came out here this morning. I mean, everything from pulling it out of the creek bed 
to the lumber itself has just exceeded my expectations. Uh, the quality of the boards, I mean, you saw them. I thought just based on the uh, amount of bug activity that was out here between the sapwood and the bark that there was going to be a lot more penetration into the wood, but there just wasn't. And, uh, you know, it's a real treat for me because I won't be able to get more ash trees like this out here. This was one of the larger ones that I had around, and the ash board just really did a number on them. If I look around me right now, I don't see any that are more than maybe six or eight inches wide and they're already dying so this is you know probably the only one i'd be able to get out here and i think i mentioned already that the slab was 11 and a half inches wide four and a half thick that should give me plenty of room to flatten it i'm going to do something cool with it someday and then i was able to get three more boards out of the flitches these are four quarter thick and the biggest is eight and a half wide and the next two are six and a half inches wide and you know i wasn't expecting to get those either i thought these outer boards would be soft and punky but they're not i mean they're solid and i just i'm thrilled with the way that everything went um, i'm appreciative to have the boards i don't know what i'll do with them but i'm sure i'll do something and i appreciate you checking in on me and watching it means a lot and i'll catch you on the next one